dear students now we are going to discuss about optical fiber numerical aperture and acceptance angle experiment aim of this experiment is to determine the numerical aperture and acceptance angle of the given optical fiber okay so now what are the apparatus required for this optical fiber trainer kit okay it consists of that transmitter so here i will write it consists of transmitting the light signal so we need the transmitter and then receiver so one end light will be transmitted and other end the light will be received okay so transmitter and receiver will be there in this optical fiber trainer kit and then optical fiber of different length okay actually in lab it is one meter cable 3 meter cable and 5 meter cable is available so according to our convenience we can choose any one length of this optical fiber and then na jig na represents numerical aperture jig and then na scale numerical aperture scale so this is what the apparatus required so now let us get into the lab to complete the experiment see what are all the apparatus required for this and how to give the connection and how to take the values so the first one is fiber optics trainer board so this is the trainer board here the intensity um, value can be changed by means of this knob and then we are having the two setups this is the transmitter it will transmit the light signals and this is the receiver so it will collect the receives the light signals so the light can be passed through the optical fiber so this is the optical fiber so for this experiment i have taken one meter optical cable and then this setup so this is called na jig na jig and then here one scale has given the scale is graduated in millimeters so now this first line is zero next one they have given one meter so in which five lines are there so each line is 0.2 mm so the first line is 0 0.2 second one is 0 0.4 third one is 0 0.6 like that it is graduated okay and then next one is na scale okay so this scale consists of the concentric circles number of concentric circles now you see the first circle is having the diameter is 0.2 mm okay so point to the next circle will be 0.4 mm third one is 0.6 so each uh, diameter is 0.2 mm extension so 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 like that so now how to give the connection let me explain so first thing is take this board this is the optical fiber cable give the connection in this and one end is connected in the transmitter the other end should be connected in this na jig so we have to keep like this the one end fiber optic trainer board should be there the other end of the optical fiber is connected in the na jig so now our duty is switch on this now you see the light is coming on this so you can able to see the light is coming from this optical fiber so now we have to keep this NE scale over this jig okay so what is our duty means adjust the scale over this jig and then fill the first circle should be filled with the light okay fill the first circle with the light so now you can able to get this the first circle the first circle is filled with light the first circle of this NA scale is filled with the light. So now your duty is first circle. Okay, the diameter of the circle is 0.2 mm. That is W. In the tabular column, in W, we have to note down 0.2 mm first circle. And at what distance? This distance is there now in NA jig scale. So this point. So it is around 0. 0 only 0 mm okay and the next step that is l the scale na jig scale value is l and then the circle is diameter is w this is l and this is w so the next step keep in next circle should be filled with the light next circle so at what distance the light is filled so that distance l value can be measured for example 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 like that we have to measure and then the circle first circle means w is equal to 0.2 mm second circle means w is equal to 0.4 mm like that we have to take down the values so now you have to adjust the scale over this jig to fill the light okay this is what your experiment is nothing more than that your duty is keep this jig like this and just to move this scale over that 
and fill the first circle with light and note down the w as well as l value so l value is in the scale in the scale what is the value that is l okay in the jig we are going to measure l value in scale we are going to measure the w value so first circle is filled with light means w is equal to 0.2 and the second circle is filled with light means 0.4 mm so w directly we can take from this scale okay and L value we should take from any jig. So at this distance, the first circle is filled with light. We can able to see. So here the L is 0.2 mm. So I can able to see from here. I will show to you only. So in this scale, first line, second line. Second line is matching. So 0.2 mm. Like that. Like that, we have to adjust the second round and then third round and then fourth round. Like that, we have to take the values. So Take the L value as well as W value. So L is here and the W is on the scale. Okay, like that we have to take the values. So let me show the tabular column for you so that you can understand easily. So this is the tabular column. So distance from screen L. Now you see this is value. In the NA jig, you have to measure the L value and the diameter of the circle. The diameter of the circle, first circle means 0 0.2, 0 0.4 like that you have to note down. So, our duty is to measure only L and W in this experiment. That's all about experiment. Remaining thing, we have to do the calculation. So, after doing experiment in the lab, we have to calculate the values of NA and acceptance angle. So, this is the tabular column required for this experiment. What is that? Distance from the screen that is L and the diameter of the circle W. So, now we have to calculate Na and theta. So, now after taking the values in the lab, I can able to write Solo ni is first. Zero point four. Zero point eight. One point zero. One point four. Two point four. Here. One point zero point eight. One point zero. One point two. One point four. One point six. Zero point seven. I will not tell you, I will not calculate for you. So now, now these are the values we have taken in the lab. So this is L value and this is the W value. Now we have to calculate NA. So what is the formula for NA? W divided by root of 4 L square plus W square. So first consider these two values. L is equal to 0.4 and W is equal to 0.8. So let us calculate the NA. So this is the formula for us. What I said L is equal to 0.4 and W is equal to 0.8. Both are in mm. Right. So now substitute the value here. 0.8. W is equal to 0.8 divided by root of 4 L square. So 0.4 whole square plus W is 0.8 whole square. So by calculating this. We will get the value of 0 0.7. So for all the values we have to calculate like this. And then the corresponding acceptance angle also we can calculate. So theta is equal to, theta is the acceptance angle which is equal to sin inverse of Na. Sin inverse of Na. So what is the Na value we got 0 0.7. So sin inverse of 0 0.7 we used to get 44.4. Okay, so it should be converted into degrees. So finally, we will convert these values into degrees. So in this way, we have to calculate Na and theta. So now I will show the tabular column with the calculated values of Na and theta. So now listen, for the first one, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3. So finally, you have to take the value average of this you have to take the average of this so average is equal to add all those things and divided by totally five numbers so you will get 0 0.48 so this is the final result we get for the numerical aperture and the corresponding 
theta also we can able to do 44.4 and then 30 and again 30 and then 23 and then 17.4 okay so here also you have to take the average to get the final result so average is equal to 28.9 28.9 so now we have to write the result in this experiment so the result is nothing but numerical aperture is equal to so numerical aperture is equal to 0.48 numerical aperture is equal to 0.48 and the value what we are getting for acceptance angle is 28.9 actually by using the calculator it should be converted into degrees so the value will be around 28 degree 54 minutes so this is the final result for acceptance angle so now we completed this experiment so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you